Okay, so here's where I stand on the radiator. Nowhere. I stand on a loading dock all by myself, stranded with no help. And right there in plain sight, three year replacement warranty. Spoken to market performance radiators who has agreed that my radiator does carry a three year replacement warranty. He's honoring that warranty and giving me a new radiator with the 21 months re remaining from my three year warranty attached to that. He also agrees that I have no business with performance. My business is with cool radiators and the warranty that they gave me. Everyone except Randy agrees that I have no business with performance, that my business is with cool. Randy yelled at me over the phone like a madman and scolded me, scolded me for having gone to the manufacturer. Wasn't it him who told me the whole time that the manufacturer holds all the cards to my warranty and that's the one that I have to worry about and I should talk to them? And once I did, now he's scolding me for it. Hmm. He has since rescinded his offer that he made on the labor. That $180 offer about the labor with my nephew is gone. Go and take care of your own labor. Randy says he will give me the new radiator. When I bring him the old one, it's up to me to take it out and bring it to him. Really? He said he wanted to help me because he thought I was a nice lady. But now that I've stood up for myself and fought for what I should legally be getting, he told me, you're not a nice lady. You disrupted everybody. You did. That's what he said. He said, you disrupted everybody. Why? Because I wanted my radiator? The way the warranty read? Well, well, this not nice lady is going to file a claim against cool radiators at the DMV. I may also look into a sexual harassment suit because, and I, listen, I don't like to play the woman card because I really, in my heart of hearts, don't think that people do that, but maybe I'm wrong because I don't know if he would treat a not nice man like this, okay? Yelled at me, yelled at me. Every time I spoke to him on the phone, he yelled, ma'am, you're getting upset. I'm not getting upset. Also, I'll be con contacting the Secretary of State's website to see. I can't find any license or any, any registration for him on the Secretary of State's website under cool radiators. That's it, man. Now I have to either go find somebody to put in my radiator. That is really messed up. Really messed up. All I wanted was a new radiator and he made me fight. He made me fight. And when I did fight, <laughs> I'm not a nice lady, so he's not going to help me. I was feeling really dejected for a little bit there. I didn't ask for help. I asked for a contract to be honored. But obviously, Randy from Cool Radiators is just a freaking crybaby. Wah, wah, wah. I ask for business to be conducted in a business-like manner. Wah, wah, wah. I don't ask for help. I asked you to honor your own warranty. Wah, wah, wah. Guess who's gonna fix the radiator? Nick with the warm hands! My RV loves Nick. He's got warm hands. It's gonna cost me a lot more money. When Nick texted me back and said, yeah, I'll fix your radiator, I was like, damn, you just slapped a suicide off my face. <laughs> I didn't really mean that, you know, but I was just feeling really dejected. Because I was back to square one because I don't like to feel helpless and automotive problems make me feel helpless. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go now and thanks for listening to me. Listen, girls. Do not be intimidated when a businessman says to you, you're not a very nice lady, or behave yourself, or ma'am, 
you're getting emotional. You're getting upset, ma'am. Maybe we're not really getting upset. Maybe they're just pissed off that Nick, when I told him what happened, his words were, you know what? What a cry baby. He's got to learn how to do business. That's what happens when you're in business. People want what they pay for. and When they don't get it, they're going to do stuff to get it. And I did everything within my legal power to get it. Stand up for yourself, okay? What's the part number? 2691 CBR. And it's a performance performance radiator and i don't know if that's the right thing to put in there he said he put a commercial radiator in there no no commercial would have been the thing would have been the three four oh well that's what they said this was oh no oh, really they, they said that what was in there is a commercial radiator that's why they wouldn't uh part they wouldn't give me a new one so you're saying that this is what no it, it's, it's not a three core it's a metal tank that's uh, so a three core is a commercial radiator? Uh, normally. So the welds, the welds, yeah. Wow, whatever the weld is leaking. What is it? The welds in here too. Wow. Damn. <laughs> you what? Well, uh, okay. Can you tell me what this means or? Oh no, it, uh, it's, it's a radiator. It's a problem with the radiator. Yeah, it's a problem well. with the radiator. It is performance. Okay. Remember I told you the sticker. Right, right, right. Okay, we see a performance. Wait, I can't see what that like. Yeah, there we go. Performance radiator here. Yeah. Okay. No, but it's... I don't know the number. It don't say the number, but it looks like the right one. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me get that on there as well. Okay. Yeah, and. Right. These are leaking like that. The bottom, the bottom leaking around the weld. See how it rusted around? This is this bung is welded into the actual radiator. Okay. See how it's all leaking. rusted. Yeah. Leaking here at, at the weld. It's not the fitting because there's nothing. It's still clean yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not cleaning anything. Let's we'll just pull these off. Yeah, let's pull those off. Okay. How long do you think it's been leaking with the rust that it's way? Been for a minute. Yeah. Because it's uh, it's already <laughs> rust. It's already rust. <laughs> yeah. No. Nice. This looks like it was brand new. It wasn't. Uh, Why is it rust? So it much rust inside the radiator. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, the water was hardly even green though. It was barely. It was like mud. Barely. No, it was. It was like water. Oh, mostly like water. water than. And I have been putting uh, antifreeze in there only. Uh, the one that you told me to buy it's it's in the basement i'll show it's it to green, you right oh yeah green the, the the container is blue how come it's so uh it is so rusted on the inside wow that's really really rusted yeah, yeah the block could have been rusted from the old radiator leaking so much oh, yeah, adding water and they didn't clean it are they supposed to do something like that when they yeah. oh it's supposed to well, then they have to different. remove the thermostat and all that stuff to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. That'd be more money on top of everything. Well, I mean, that's they something. They should have told you everything in the beginning. Yeah, they should have been doing a complete job. Right, oh, it one. looks like it's bleeding. That's a transmission fluid. <laughs> Is that supposed to be in there? Transmission fluid? Yeah, it's a cooler. It cools it up. Okay. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Fredo, I do have a question for you, if you don't mind. Would the best thing to do would be put a new one in or to repair that? No, you, you got to put a new one in. That's what I was offered. No, we're just going to take that out and fix it. So the best thing is to do uh, replace that's what they told it. Me? Yeah, they wouldn't do anything. Warranty, they give you a new one. Oh no, he kept telling me there was no three-year warranty. There was a one-year warranty. The manufacturer it was up to them whether they wanted to fix it or repair it. Yeah. I told you they lied they to me. They gave a three-year warranty on paper. Oh, the paper, the paper tells you everything. So if they can't get one, then you'll have no other option. But if they have the new one there, I try to get the new one. Why did he get mad? Because he got outsmarted by a woman. <laughs>